to teach you all about the formation of the world's most famous coral reef, the Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef can be found just off the shores of Australia. Let's go back to the beginning, to the formation of these beautiful underwater creations. In order to build a coral reef, you need to, of course, have a coral. A single coral is an underwater animal that can be classified into the same animal group as a jellyfish or a sea anemone. There are at at least 350 different kinds of corals that help in constructing the Great Barrier Reef. Some coral live in colonies and lay down a skeleton made up of calcium carbonate, in other words, limestone. Over time, sand and other loose particles cement together and form a solid limestone foundation, which starts the process of formation. Other animals, such as clams, also add their own calcium carbonate shells to help in forming the reef structure. One type of coral, the stony coral, is responsible in the formation of the reef. Two types of stony coral include branching and massive coral. Branching corals can grow vertically 10 to 15 centimeters per year, while massive corals may increase in diameter by only 1 to 2 centimeters per year. Some individual massive corals reach 7 meters in diameter and are more than 700 years old. Coral reefs grow upwards 1 centimeter per year. However, they do not go above the water surface because exposure to air or rain could kill them. Coral reefs also do not grow any deeper than 150 meters because stony coral requires sunlight to live. Some parts of the Great Barrier Reef started to grow more than 2 million years ago but the main reef structure began to develop 500,000 years ago. Coral reefs tend to grow better in warmer temperature, but when the Earth experienced global cooling, the reefs weren't able to grow as well. That was 8,000 years ago, and by now the reefs have been actively growing. There are approximately 300 small coral islands or caves that make up the Great Barrier Reef and are formed by underwater currents and wave actions. Now what I would like you to do is create your own timeline and show me the formations of the coral reef. Thank you.